Welcome back. Even the most polite people in the world occasionally have some bad habits. You may be annoying people without even knowing it. Listen up, O'Brien. Mental toughness expert, Eric Rittmeyer, joining me now. First off, good morning to you, Eric. Scott, good to see you. I missed you yesterday, man. We were talking about your uh, comedy shows. I got a couple bones to pick with you on that, man. My comedy show? Yeah, like you're the ones who this show over that show, you oh. you selected like Hangover over like Christmas Vacation, something like that. It was crazy. It was close pick though, Eric. Stop yelling right. at me. I think that's in one of your tips here. Stop yelling at Scott. Anyway, <laughs> you have five habits to share that people should break immediately. And the first one is kick the approval addiction. What do you mean by that? Although I, I think I got an idea. We're, we're, in the, we're just a society of approval addicts right now, Scott. Our happiness depends on how many clicks we get. We're constantly just so thriving for everybody to like us. And the, the crazy thing is, a lot of times, it's people we don't even know. It's people that don't even mean anything of our lives, but we're so relying on it. we got to kick that habit. we got to get over this whole approval thing. But as kids, we learn. If people like us, we get what we want. But when we become adults, we know not everybody's going to like us. So how do you kick that habit? Well, you have to get used to realize you have to realize that not everybody's going to like things about you. Something that is great qualities, like you and I have some amazing qualities, right? We probably annoy lots of people, but no. we think we have great qualities. So it's just about, it's about realizing not everybody's going to like everything you do, and that's okay. So real life is what you're saying. All right, stop getting so easily offended. What happened to the old sticks and stones thing? Remember that? Wait, we can't say that. Did you say stones? You can't say stones, Scott. That's How good dare point. you say stones? Good point. Yeah, it's one of these things, right? Everything upsets us. It's this this outrage culture, right? It's like we have to microanalyze every single thing somebody says. Let's look at the intention behind it. Obviously, people say things that are bad, that are wrong, they shouldn't say. But if it's not, if there's no ill intention there, just relax. It's not that big of a deal. Don't get so easily upset about everything. Yeah, we're not talking about bullying. We're just talking about normal day life and stuff like that, which leads me to the third one, which I didn't know what you meant when I first read it. Do not leave people unopened. What do you mean by that, Eric? <laughs> There's some conflict with this, Scott, because I thought on open before I consult with my children, which I should have always done, consult with your teens before you do anything. I thought on open meant you send somebody a message, a text message, a Snapchat, a message on Instagram, and they don't open it. You're being left unopen. But what it actually means is when you send somebody a message, they open it, then they don't reply. That's being called left unopen. It's highly annoying. If somebody sends you a message, we know you open it, your phone's in your hands 24-7, not to mention you're on Facebook. You just posted something five minutes after I sent you a message. Reply to it. Don't leave somebody unopened. It should be called unreplied to. That doesn't really have the same ring, though, does it? It really doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not even sure it's good grammar. All right, number four, stop being late. That is a big pet peeve of mine. Every time I went golfing with Jim O'Brien, he was late. Poor Jim. I hope he was a good golfer. Drive for no. show, putt for dough. He's a terrible I'm not a golfer, golfer, but I heard that term. Terrible golfer and late. In this day and age, Scott, right, we have like ways, we have all these apps. We can put an address into our phone and it'll tell us within two minutes what time we're going to be there. Show up on time. It tells the other person you respect them. Being late is so annoying. Everybody does it. We're getting horrible at this. I know I'm always late because of my hair. Put it in your app. Be there on time. It's not difficult. All right, last one. We don't have much time for you to compliment me. So stop begging for attention. Yeah, attention. We all thrive on this. I call these thirst traps. I wrote about this in my book. They're called thirst traps. It's these pictures we post on Facebook, like, take me back to the beach. And I'm on the beach in December, right? It's like, you're looking for clicks. It's just clickbait, right? Lay off the attention. Just be happy with who you are. Find happiness internally. You don't have to search for people liking you to get all the attention. All right, quick website for all these tips, because you got a lot of them, Eric. Sure do, Scott. Thank you. It's mental toughness speaker.com. Awesome seeing you again. Thank you. You as well. The emotional Marine and the fun Marine. Eric, thank you. Jess, over to you. Love that energy this morning, Scott. Thank you.